Hi Dan. Right. Much easier to explain this with a video than it is in an email. So here we go. Um, I've got a narrow strip of 100 micron aluminium oxide micro finishing film close to the edge of the glass. I'm just going to put that nearest to me. Take my paring chisel and I'll just lay it on at one end with the word narex roughly over the, the top of the film. So I, I'm coming back to the same starting point every time. Um, I'm going to start by doing short strokes. I'm using this dry because it's more aggressive when it's dry. It doesn't last, the film won't last as long, but we're looking for material removal here at the maximum rate because you've got a big chisel to prepare. Um, I'm just going to let these strokes gradually increase in length as we go up the blade so that we go up the blade as we go across the film working from one end to the other so by the time we get to this end we're just about letting the tip drift on and that's one set you can see how much metal that's taking off um, so it's it gets you there pretty quickly um, once you get to this end turn around and go back the other way I'm applying light pressure over the top of the bevel here just to keep it all jigged and then we gradually work our way back up again again lengthening the strokes and this is just going to introduce that slight concavity to the back of the blade so, get rid of all that. So if I now place it on the glass and take a feeler gauge, that's three thou. It's just about letting it in in the centre, keeping it out there, nowhere near, not letting it in at all at either end. If we go for smaller one so that's a thou and a half passing 3d in the center just about going under there not at the tip and not up there so so we've got our very very slight concavity that's still flatter than the sole of a plane so it's still flat but the nice bit is that when we come to polishing I will use lubrication for this one um, just a couple of drops of Honewright number one on there, which is marvellous stuff. Uh, I'm not even going to bother with 40, I'm going to go straight in with 30. And we're laying the full length of the blade on, so the, the abrasive is bigger than the blade, so it's going to move it back in the direction of convexity. So we're reducing that 3 thou hollow in the back by polishing just the underside of the cutting edge, which is the bit that we're interested in having polished. There is no advantage in having the rest of the, the back of the blade polished at all. Just work down the grits. Again, you don't need a lot of pressure and it shouldn't take a, a lot of time. nine micron and then onto three micron you don't need to worry about grit transfer with this because all the grits locked in with the resins so it's it's just a very gentle grinding action it's not a you're not creating a slurry on top of the surface and that's it Let's wipe that off and what we should start to see is a polished area beginning to appear at the front of the blade and the rest of it just with a nice dull sheen and each time you polish it that polished area will gradually creep up further and further um, you can you can redo the polishing part of it as many times as you like and when that starts to creep up too far and your polishing becomes less effective just go back and do a, a series of the other strokes on the coarse abrasive again and that's it that's preparing and maintaining the pair and chisel thanks very much